The future is what we make it. So what kind of future do we want to make for them? What kind of future do we want to leave behind? We propose a global effort, a large space project which we call the EOS project, that utilizes the most sophisticated technologies and scientific principles to develop extensive non-terrestrial infrastructure to enable the highest possible living standard for all human beings, both on Terra and on future non-terrestrial settlements. The proposed aim of this effort is to achieve this through the development and incentivization of new technologies, including clean fusion energy, vacuum energy, and the establishment of a Terran union. A new global cooperative union of individuals, from all walks of life and from all over the globe. Faced with the current state of the world, the political situation, the ongoing destruction of the climate, diseases, resource shortages, good shortages, and so on, many of us feel helpless, even apathetic. What could any of us do? You undoubtedly have family and friends you care about and care about any descendants you may have and the descendants of your family and friends. You probably wish for these folks, both living and unborn, who you care for, to have the brightest future and highest standard of living. The best way to guarantee this is to support and work towards spreading humanity to the planets and to the stars. And in the process, the new technologies, clean energy, stronger and lighter and less resource intensive materials, fast and clean travel and transport, abundant and inexpensive food and so on, all technologies necessary to master space would not only be the key to, but vital to ensuring that our home and our planet among the stars, Terra, remains habitable, and that all of us and those yet unborn have a bright and prosperous future. Large-scale changes don't happen overnight, but they do happen however quickly when a mass group moves in unison. So instead of being British or Indian or Russian or Chinese or German or Brazilian or American, what if we instead think of ourselves as Terrans? Terra has become the more or less accepted scientific and technical name for our shared planet. So what if we strove to create something new, a non-governmental, multinational organization of individuals, not of nations or corporations, but a cooperative, voluntary, democratic group of interested individuals from anywhere in the world, from any background and of any ethnicity or ethnicities, all striving to, by our own collective and laborious efforts, build the start of a new civilization not one of any single nation, or even of Terra itself, guided by a philosophy that we're all Terrans, regardless of any other considerations. Even future colonists on Luna, Mars, and elsewhere are all still of Terran birth and origin. To ensure the highest possible standard of living for not only the current generations, but for all future generations into the foreseeable future, it is imperative that we spread out to multiple worlds in multiple systems, lest an unpredictable event that cannot be prevented or prepared for endanger Terra or even the entire solar system. The creation of a Terran union and the technologies and societal changes necessary to reach such a state is the goal and objective of Iris Astron X. This can be achieved via the creation of a large-scale international movement and effort, the EOS Project, which begins in large part with this video and with you. Our first step is to obtain a facility that would serve as the headquarters of this project. To begin with, we must acquire land to build the facility on probably more than two hectares in somewhat remote but near major cities and a paved road. 
Our current intentions are to find land in the Orizaba area of Mexico. If you have land in this area or wish to donate to help fund the purchase of land, please get in contact with us. We will also need to purchase or build wind turbines as well as solar panels to make our facilities self-sufficient with regards to energy. We will build or renovate a warehouse laboratory and housing on the property, making use of temporary housing while more permanent accommodations are being built. Once we have a lab up and running, we intend on developing clean fusion energy to supply all the energy we could possibly need, both now and in the future. In the process of building our center, we intend to create the core of a future high-tech city, a prototype for later off-world settlements and also for future settlements on Terra. Additional supplies, equipment, and resources we will also need include plastics, metal, and possibly also renewable lumber sources, such as bamboo or other fast-growing wood. We will also need various fixtures, such as LEDs and fluorescent lamps as well as computers to be used as CAD workstations, so that we may continue to make documentaries and 3D renders to illustrate current and future projects. Also to educate folks about our project and to design and build components for current and future projects, such as an electrodynamic drone. Equipment we will need includes at least two vehicles, such as a minivan and a box truck. Attract Bobcat, attachments for the Bobcat, such as a forklift attachment, excavator, post hole digger, etc., as well as a dedicated forklift. You can keep tabs on our progress via our website, under the Iris Astronext Center page under Projects. You can also subscribe and follow us on social media, such as Twitter and Facebook. To keep up to date and find out about current and future opportunities to volunteer or otherwise get involved. If you wish to get involved and want to help out with our project and have experience in video production, including script writing, videography, audio engineering, and so on, or marketing, voice acting, or video recording, applied physics, web development, software development, computer science, architecture, agriculture, and or botany, especially related to the fields of enclosed farming, greenhouse farming, hydroponics, aquaculture, or aquaponics, then please get in contact with us so we can work out how best you can help, be it volunteering or working remotely where applicable. Keep in mind that volunteering and offering your assistance in many of these areas will require you to be physically present which will mean being willing to move to and work on a purely voluntary basis in Mexico, specifically in the area around the city of Orizaba in the Mexican state of Veracruz, a city nestled in a mountain valley surrounded by a beautiful cloud forest and one of the cleanest cities in Mexico, if not in all of Latin America, recipient of the Spanish Silver Broom Award for its cleanliness. Again, any work must be done purely as an unpaid volunteer. That is on an unpaid volunteer basis only. If you aren't sure how you can help, then by all means contact us. Everyone can help in some way. Artists, house cleaners, teachers, musicians, and so on. Everyone can help in some manner, however big or small. This facility won't build and run itself after all. Again, follow us on social media to learn about upcoming opportunities to help out. With the construction of an Iris Astronex Center and World Headquarters, what comes next is the development and dissemination of new energy sources in cooperation with other groups working in the same or in similar directions. We think that achieving routine, practical, and inexpensive orbital and interstellar flights are critical to mankind's future survival. Thank you for watching this video. For more information, visit astronex.com.